Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Mark is here again. It's the same morning, just a little bit later on in that day. You know, I've always wanted to do something that was great. I've always wanted to be remembered as somebody who had some significance, somebody who was thought that society was important and was important to society. And I've been trying to accomplish some stuff for quite a period of time, ladies and gentlemen, but what I have tried to accomplish, only thing I was able to do was to do what I had controlled. And everything else required that you, the people, participate. We are talking about freedom and your freedom, and you have to participate in your freedom. I can't make you free. God can't make you free. That's a choice. And so I'm thinking about how in the world can I achieve a little bit more than I have in the past. And here I am coming to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm saying to you that we have recognized over the past few years, we've watched evil through the expression of lies travel all over this country, bouncing around, bouncing around. Some of you say that Trump is the evil, that Trump is the perpetuator of the lies. He is the devil. Many of you say that the rest of the people is the evil one. It's the devil. But each one got its followers. And so one thing we can all be assured of, that somebody's lying, one or the other, because they're not saying the same thing. And a lie is affecting us in a negative way. And since we don't know who the liar is, we're just committing to follow something. We're just like straws that's blowing in the wind. But I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, there is a way that you can be sure you can remove the lie. You can remove the lie by satisfying the solution, by making sure that the people who are looking for the basic essentials of life have them. And that way, one side can't say that you are hungry when you're not. Another side can't say that you're stupid and uneducated when you're not. Some people, uh, anybody, uh, no one can say that you're just outside of the whack of life because you're not. Who are you protected by? You are protected by one another. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying to you, we need to put people to work. We need anybody on this earth is benefiting from something on this earth, if nothing more than just walking on the ground or breathing the air <clears throat> or seeing the sights, benefiting in some way. But that's not the only thing that's needed for survival. You need food and clothing. You need shelter. And we, the people, know that every last one of us want that, even if we can't get it. So it is to us who got a heart, and we all need a heart, since we all need food, clothes, and shelter. So we work together. The food and materials are here to, to make sure that we don't have to put our hands to every little bit, every little bit working like a, the sweat of our brow. No, we've, a part of that is something that we love doing. We choose what we love doing, and that is what we do. That gives us our joy. That gives us our happiness. And as we receive our joy and happiness, what we're actually doing is serving the people, serving the public, creating all of the resources that they will ever need. This, my friends, is what people can do when they go to work. You don't have to lie. You don't have to listen to deception. You don't have to break in a store and steal. You don't have to do white collar crime. You don't have to sell drugs. You don't have to do any of these kinds of things. It won't be necessary because you've learned the secrets of life. I need your support to help me get this to the American people. And the truth of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, we might as well not fuss. We might as well not get too excited because people do not know this. You would say, well, it looks like they should, but they don't. What they do know is what they've seen. What they do know is what they've been taught, whether it was by your parents, whether it was just by an absolute environment. This they know. This they've seen. This they've heard. This they've practiced. They've seen it. But when you start talking about peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and happiness for everybody, then you never even heard much talk about that, let alone practice it. So this is a new concept that must be, in, well, it's not really new. It's just been sitting on the shelf. And now it got to be reintroduced to the American people. We can't go trying to talk to Germany or Putin or anybody until we get our act together. In other words, until we get our act together, we don't know what we're talking about. At least we don't have the evidence. But when we do, then the world will be listening because the whole world wants what we are talking about here today. 
So I want to thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me this second moment in time. Help me, help us, help the world, help America.